Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you get the error message the last USB device you connected to this computer malfunctioned. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update or uninstall the USB driver. To do this right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in the Device Manager window just make sure to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers. In here just right click the first controller or the controller that is problematic and then select the Properties option. Now click on the Driver tab and as you can see you have plenty of options to fiddle with. But let's start with updating the driver. So click on the Update Driver button. Now just click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to scan for the best possible drivers for your PC. Otherwise you can also click on Search for updated drivers on Windows Update. In here on the right side just click on Advanced Options and afterwards scroll down until you find the optional update section and click on it. Now just click on the driver updates drop down menu and select the drivers that are listed in here by ticking the box next to them and then click on the blue download and install button. Now restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. In case the driver is still problematic you can also uninstall the device. So click on the uninstall device button and then confirm again by clicking on uninstall. Now after you restart your PC, Windows will automatically attempt to reinstall the driver for this device. Now check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to change the USB power settings. To do this press the Windows button then simply type edit power plan and select it from the search results. Now in here just click on change advanced power settings and then in the power options window just make sure to find the USB settings section and double click it to expand it. Now expand the USB selective suspend setting and make sure that both on battery and plugged in the setting is disabled. Now you can click on apply and ok to save the changes and then check if the problem still persists. You can also use the USB troubleshooter. To do this right click the Windows button then select Windows Terminal as an administrator. In here just copy paste the following command from the description below and then press on enter. This will start the hardware and devices troubleshooter so hit on next. The system will find any possible problems with your hardware and if it does just click on apply this fix. Otherwise you can just skip to the next solution. And lastly another great solution is to turn off fast startup. To do this press the windows button then simply type choose a power plan and then select it from the search results. Now in here on the left pane click on choose what the power buttons do and then as you can see under shutdown settings some settings are grayed out. Now click on change settings that are currently unavailable and then make sure to untick the box next to turn off fast startup. Lastly just press on the save changes button and then restart your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.